Sanjeev and today we are going to discuss about operational amplifier comparator trainer and its order code is 36245. So in this video we are going to discuss about the working of this trainer. So this is a operational amplifier comparator trainer which is also called as op-amp comparator trainer. So this is a 10k pot, this is a variable DC power supply which ranges from 0 to 5 volt DC at 100 milliampere. So when you will rotate it in clockwise direction, the value increases from 0 to 5 volt. Then this is the fixed DC supply of plus 15 volt and minus 15 volt and this is the ground volt. Then this is the fixed DC supply of plus 5 volt. Then here we are having three resistance of value 10k, two resistance of value 22k, one resistance of value 100k and one resistance of value 1k and 2k2. And here we are having two zener diodes whose values are 3v3. Then these are the two diodes of 4148 and this is the capacitor 0.1 mu f and these are the two 741 ICs which are known as operational amplifier ICs op-amp. Now we are going to perform an experiment on the kit. So the experiment we are going to perform is to study operational amplifier comparator and its characteristics. So for that we will perform the experiment of non-inverting comparator. So for that we need to do the connection as per this circuit diagram. So firstly we will connect the 7th pin of 741IC to plus 15 volt and we will connect the 4th pin of 741IC to the minus 15 volt and now we will connect the 2nd pin of the IC to the second diode and we will connect this end of the diode to the first diode and now we will connect the other end of the diode to the D2 and now we will connect the third pin of IC to D2 and now we will connect the D1 diode with 10k resistance and we will connect the other end of the 10k resistance to the capacitor of 0.1 mu f and we will connect the other end of the capacitor to the ground and now we will connect the other end of D1 to 10k and we will connect the other end of the 10k to the function generator input. So we will connect the function generator input at the 10k and we will connect the other end of the function generator to the ground. And now we will connect the output pin of 741IC that is the 6th pin will be connected to another 10k resistance and we will connect the other end of this 10k resistance to the ground. So that is how the connection is done. Now we will connect the DSO at the output. So firstly we will check the input waveform. So here you can see these are the waveforms which are given in the manual. So you need to verify these waveforms. So firstly we will check the input waveform and then we will check the output waveform. So we need to switch on the function generator and we need to provide a sine wave which ranges from 100 hertz to 1 kilohertz. So we will first provide a sine wave of frequency 500 hertz as an input and now we will switch on the trainer and we will check the input first. So for that I will connect 
the ground of the DSO to the ground and we will check the input sine waveform so here you can see this is the sine waveform of 500 hertz and now we can increase the input to 600 hertz frequency and now we will check the output so here you can see this is the output waveform which we are getting so you can cross verify the input and output waveforms from the manual so that is how you can perform the first experiment of non-inverting comparator now we are going to perform another experiment that is to study application of comparator so for that we will do the connection for smith trigger so this is the circuit so we need to do the connection according to this circuit diagram so firstly we will connect the seventh pin of the IC to plus 15 volt and we will connect the fourth pin of the IC 741 to minus 15 volt and now we will connect the second pin to 10k resistance and we will connect the other end of the 10k resistance to the function generator input and we will connect the ground to the ground now we will connect the third pin of the IC to 22k resistance and we will connect the other end of this 22k resistance to the ground and we will connect another 22k resistance to the 22k resistance and we will connect the other end of this 22k resistance to 10k resistance and we will connect the other end of 10k resistance to the ground and we will connect the 6th pin that is the output of the 741 will be connected to the 10k resistance so that is how the connection is done now we will switch on the trainer and we will observe the waveforms which are given in the manual so this is the output waveform which we should get after doing the connection so we will check the output waveforms so now we will switch on the function generator and firstly we need to provide a sine wave which ranges from 100 hertz to 1 kilohertz frequency so firstly we will provide a sine wave of 500 hertz and now we will switch on the trainer so firstly we will observe the input signal that is the sine wave so here you can see that this is our input signal and now we will observe the output waveform so for that we need to connect it to the 6th pin so here you can see we are not getting the output at 6th pin so we need to check the amplitude that is should be more than 14 volt peak to peak so it is defined in the manual that here you can see at the output we will get the output at 14 volt amplitude so we need to provide the peak to peak voltage of 14 volt so now as I have provided so as I have provided the 16 volt VPP at a sine wave amplitude at the input so I am getting the 
output waveform. So this is our input sine signal which is of 600 hertz and it is of VPP 16 volt and this is our output waveform of 600 hertz of the same amplitude peak to peak that is 16 volt. So that is how you can perform this experiment and you can observe the waveform. So similarly we are having many experiments that are given in the manual so you can perform each and every experiment and you can observe the waveforms like this. So that's all the demonstration from my side. If you have any query regarding this kit, you can contact the Tesla Global website. You can find the link in the description for more information. Go through the manual. Thank you.